Just a moment, please. Your call is being diverted. All right. So uh, Mick has some interesting thing to explain to me that I don't know about. And the, I think the test is, we said, is if I can understand it, anyone can understand it. So that's your challenge, is to explain uh, it to me. I'll try, okay. okay. Old dial phones had uh, a numbering and lettering on the dials. Mm -hmm. uh, and in actual fact, the mobile phone is taken that on and used the same yes. thing for, for different reasons, obviously, why we had it. Initially, um, in the manual telephone exchange, before automatic when you had operators, each building had one telephone exchange. And on their board, they'd have a short lettered code for a telephone exchange. So mm -hmm. I worked in Royal Mint Wapping Exchange, it was called Royal, so yep. it just called ROY. So the operators needed to route a call to a Royal, it just plugged she or he would plug it up into, normally she, into mm -hmm. Royal, and then talk to the operator at that exchange to say, I've got this call for this number. Over to everybody, the public knew, and if you looked at old um, advertising magazines or papers from back in the day, they'd have the old, if, for London for instance, they'd have Royal 1234 as sure. a shop for a company. Mm. Of course, when we, we run out of capacity with the amount of combinations you can use with these, so yeah. you can't put BUM for instance, right? Yeah. Uh, and so you soon run out of capacity, and London's telephone network was growing so fast, that we needed to replace it with a numbered scheme. Mm. And with automatic telephone exchanges, you need, you know, dialing numbers, you can't dial words, you know. So, sure. so sure. to get the public used to the idea um, and the comfort of, you can still do Royal. Uh, Royal was 709, so if you looked on here, you do 709. Mm. So they're thinking they're dialing ROY, but, it's but actually they're actually numbers. dialing 709. Okay. Uh, and eventually people got used to the longer telephone numbers and saying the full telephone number. Uh, and so this, this was didn't no longer need it, as you say, hasn't got it on anymore. Mm. Um, they replaced the letters, but it stayed with us with mobile technology. So yeah, mobile it? phones have still got the same pattern. If All the way back from the All manual, way back manual from manual switch. switch well, when you first got a telephone, with a dial and to replace because of manual switchboards because of the naming convention. Yeah. 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 Fascinating. Well, there we go. I actually understood it. <laughs> <laughs> you look them up, yeah. So it's another thing they had the tandem exchanges. So between local exchanges, there's exchanges that were just there to route calls between exchanges okay. called tandem exchanges. And in London, there was lots of tandem exchanges in the same building sometimes as a local exchange. Okay. And they were called um, T and then for tandem and then the sure. uh, sorry the name of the exchange and then tandem right unfortunately bt never did any faults of this because faraday had the tandem faraday building mm. so it was faraday tandem right far and then t for tandem there was a building called cunningham uh, and it, it had that as well but i'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs>